Right, hey, Tony Gaskins here. I'm popping in. Now, listen to me. We really got to be very intentional, very diligent, vigilant, all of them. Because a lot of y'all sent me the video of the bishop. I think his name is William Murphy the third, or it might be Murphy William. I, I could have swore that name was from music, the music, like gospel music, but the first thing somebody sent me was him. I think he was christening a baby of a lesbian couple. And then the next thing was playing the multiple secular songs in the sanctuary. And it just kind of, you know, I, I seen one of the posts and it was people talking about, you know, there's nothing wrong with it, everything cool. And that just show you how lukewarm our society is. It shows you how there's not a whole lot of people that's living genuinely and authentically for God, for Christ. It's a lot of lukewarm Christians. It's a lot of people that don't really know God. They, they don't even go to church or if they go to church, they, well, if they don't go to church, they still don't have a relationship with God personally. And then those who go to church, a lot of them don't have a relationship with God still. They just go into church out of tradition and religion. And it's really sad. But I want to help you understand what's happening. And one of the things is, is when God did not call somebody, whoever God calls, he qualifies. So when you look at a lot of times, God will use people who have a story. God will use people who have gone through some very real things in a way, in areas that they may be tempted in, in their walk with Christ. And the reason why God allows us to go through in those areas is so that when we are tempted, we already have been there, done that, and have the t-shirt. So the devil really can't get you. Now, when I was looking at this bishop, just because of how society works and just how society treats people, I could tell that he hasn't always been like in the in crowd. He he wasn't always like a cool guy that the ladies wanted and that guys wanted to be around. And so in the street terms back in the day, they would call you like a, a lame or a square L7. I never heard L7, but it just we would just say buddy lame. It would just be a lane. And one of the things is when you kind of have been on the outside of the in crowd and you've been overlooked, you've been mistreated, maybe you've been bullied, maybe no ladies wanted you. And it's just for whatever reason, where you come from, who your parents are, just your look, your style, economic status, whatever it may be. What happens is, is when you get in position and you get somewhere and you start to meet celebrities, like let's say you meet the brat and then you meet her, I don't know if it's a girlfriend or wife who is a millionaire or multimillionaire, you become starstruck and you're like in awe, like you're so happy to meet these people and because of how you view yourself. So instead of being real with these individuals and saying, hey, you know, I, I love you ladies, you know, as sisters, but... The Bible speaks expressly against homosexuality and, you know, same sex relationships. And it would be a slap in God's face or disrespect to the house of the Lord for me to bring this relationship into the house of the Lord. I know it happens. I know it's all throughout Atlanta and I love you all and all of those things. But the word is what the word is. And I have to stand on the word. Now, that is what I, if I was the bishop, would have told those young ladies. Like, I'm not holding anything against you. Only God could judge you. But I have to preach the word of God. And I got to stand on the word of God. And the word of God does not change. So I'm wishing you all the best. Now, there are gay pastors. There are gay, you know, leaders, gay churches and things of that nature. They may be more open to this ceremony but unfortunately i'm not going to be able to do it that's what i would have said because of what the word of god says then with the secular music 
But one of them songs is old as we know as they old, but it also shows that you're not tapped in to God because God not going to give you a, old, a new word with an old song from the from the world. That is, that is clear and evident that the Holy Spirit is not operating in the bishop because God is a fresh word. God is a manner, a manner from heaven word. God does not need secular music to get a word to his people. God has enough scripture, original scripture in his holy Bible that God never needs a secular song to get a message across or to reach anybody. God is that powerful, that special, that rare, that unique. Like God does not need to pull from the world to reach his children who know the sound of his voice. And God is not going to reach the children of the devil using the devil's voice. They already know the devil's voice. So God is going to use his voice to stand out and to sound different. And demons know the voice of God. Demons know the voice of Christ. Demons know the name of Christ. So we render our witness, our message ineffective when we use the tools and the voice of Satan to reach people who are walking with Satan. It's ineffective. So what you have here is you have a lot of these men. When you look at a lot of these men that's in the pulpit on a large scale, on a mega scale that we see on social media, if you look at each one of them, you'll notice one or two things. He was lame or he was broke. That is what you will notice. And the reason why so many of these men get in the pulpit is to get free money because they live off of donations. To get free money or to get a platform and praise. And you rarely see a pastor and this... This not speaking of women because women are going to judge men differently because of who they are. About to go to bed, buddy? Come here. Give me a Lay, sleep tight. What time you got to get up? What time you got to get up? Six. Six a.m. All right. I'll see you in the morning. Or after, or when you get home from school. Lay. And you rarely see, I rarely see as a man, and this this is aside from women because a lot of women become attracted to what they call the anointing. They may think it's an anointing, so they become attracted to that. And they will see this man as like having, you know, swag or what have you. But as a man, me not being attracted to men, I'm able to look at this man for who he is. And I honestly cannot think of a pastor that's on a notable scale that I that I would say, like, he ain't lame or he wasn't broke. Like I, I really can't, I can't, I can't even think of one. And I don't need y'all to throw none not there because if you're a woman, especially because we're not looking at the person the same way. So, and you can't, women can't see a man outside or before who he is now. Like a lot of women say they can, but some of these men that women be saying is attractive and all of this and y'all that, and it's like they millionaires. And it's like, I know a million men that look like that man and that man ain't get no women. The men who look like that man ain't get no women, but not all of a sudden women think this person look of a man is sexy and all of this and it's clearly because this look is rich and famous point blank period so that's why i don't listen to what women got to say when they judging a man like that i'm gonna look at the man for who he is without anything else in there and so what's happening is is the devil now the devil is playing on their lameness so now you put a lame in the pulpit and he thinks it's cool to play secular music 
and he does not know God and he, the Holy Spirit is not in him because when the Holy Spirit is in you, you're going to, you're not just going to say, oh, this is a muse. This is a song with a saying that there's no cursing. No, when you are walking with the Holy Spirit, you're not just going to hear the song. You're going to hear the demons that was in the studio with those artists when they made that song. You're going to smell the marijuana that they were smoking. You're going to taste the lick brown liquor they was drinking. You're going to see the demonic spirits in their producers or their managers or just the environment in which it was created. You're going to see all that. What's up, buddy? You need something? What you doing? What you doing? I'll be done in four minutes. That's my oldest son. My youngest son can't say good night. My oldest son tell me about his training. So you're going to see all of that. And so that's what lets me know. And, and then when you're walking with the Lord, like, I don't want to be offended. Like, I, I don't want to be convicted by swag surf song or by walk it out song like they they sound like harmless songs to me it's not like it's like some devil worshiping thing but because i'm walking with the holy spirit and because i'm supping with the lord my spirit was convicted because i know those songs were not made in honor of god or to bring glory to god or to praise worship and reverence god and that's the only type of music that should enter into god's house like if you want to have a party outside, like let's say you out in a field that you at a park and you got a stage and you having a barbecue, that's outside of the Lord's house. That's outside of the temple. So if you want to do something out there, that's still different. But the Lord's house, although our body is a temple and the Holy Spirit lives within us, it's still a whole nother level of reverence when we build a building, a structure to honor and reverence God in. That becomes the house of the Lord. And so you don't play the devil's music in the house of the Lord. And there's no if, ands, and buts about it. And anybody who says otherwise is not walking with God. They, you, It is impossible to walk with God and to have the Holy Spirit dwelling within you and to not be convicted by secular music being in the house of the Lord. And the, these bishops keep showing their hand. They keep showing that they are getting poked in the booty. Or they is poking men in the booty. Or they is touching underage people. Like they, they operate in some very demonic spirits that is allowing them to be deaf to the voice of the Lord. And this is what they're showing. And eventually they're going to start to lose members. If you go to this man church... You're not walking with the Lord. You're not walking with the Lord, point blank period. You ain't walking with the Lord. Two incidents back to back, you ain't walking with the Lord. You don't know God and you need to get to know him. And stop hollering about, you ain't judging and all of that. You you need to be. You need to be. It ain't about you judging. It's about using discernment. It's about having wisdom. You ought to be shamed by yourself. You sit in this man church. This, he need to lose all his members. What T.D. Jake's going through, and now you got this other prophet coming out. He's saying stuff. I'm going to probably do a video on that, which he called himself a prophet. I don't call nobody no prophet. These folks don't be knowing what they be talking about. Stop calling yourself a prophet and all of that. If you just if you want to prophesy, prophesy. Let the Holy Spirit put that word on you. But when people give themselves a title, and they're ain't, they, they not showing, and you can't see and feel the Holy Spirit. This other man calling himself a prophet. He got a man bun. He got arch eyebrows. He be showing off his stomach and his chest. He just got a Jezebel spirit on him and then calling somebody else out. And it just don't add up. But yet still, the man calling stuff out, he so, supposed to got receipt. T.D. Jason need to lose all his members too. And when and they're going to force me to go start a church in the middle of America with 80,000 seats and fill it up and show them how to do it the right way in the name of the Lord with the Holy Spirit and to preach the Holy Bible and then sit down and shut up and stop doing theatrics and all this here tomfoolery and all this craziness. Just preach the word of the Lord and then sit your musky butt down and shut up before you get struck down literally by some lightning 
and lose your life and burn in hell. Hey, get yourself together. God bless you. We'll talk soon.